Hi guys, happy 4th of July. I'm gonna be having um, some friends over. We're gonna go swimming in the pool, grilling out. Um, as you can see, I got like fireworks and stuff back there. So um, we're gonna do that. I live like in a little cul-de-sac, so we're gonna put the fireworks and stuff in the middle of the cul-de-sac and let the neighborhood kids like see it all. Anyway, so today, um, I kind of want to talk about something that would help people that don't have narcissistic parents or a narcissistic ex or some type of narcissist in their life to understand uh, a little something about the scapegoats, the victims. Um, I want to start off by saying that there was a story yesterday. Well, it wasn't really a story. It was like a post that someone made in my group. What had happened is the narcissistic mother was already in a bad mood, I guess, because they were running late or something. And the mother told the daughter to drive to wherever they were going, uh, some sort of celebration. And the mother forgot stuff, so they were running even more late. So the mother was taking out, out on the daughter. And the daughter got upset because, well, when you have someone sitting there screaming and yelling at you, calling you names and making you feel like a piece of crap, you, your self-esteem just dies right there. And you don't want to see people. You don't want to go to a celebration. You just want to go back home. So the girl said, hey, you know, I'm just going to drive us back home. And as uh, they were pulling out of like a parking lot or something, um, the mother just put the car in park from the passenger side got out, ripped the girl from the driver's seat, and threw her down onto the pavement uh, in the road and left. She left the girl with no money and a phone that was almost dead, no drinks. The girl sat there for like two hours with nothing to drink, waiting for someone to pick her up. And then later on, when the mother got home, the mother apologized and the girl rightfully said, well, I don't forgive you. And the mother was basically telling her, oh, you're blowing things out of proportion. She was making, it's typical narcissistic behavior. She was making the, the victim feel like she was the culprit. Now, I told the girl if I were in her, sh her shoes, I would press charges because pulling someone out of a driver's side vehicle and uh, throwing them down onto the ground. That's salt. Now, when I was a teenager, if my mom did something like that, I would not have press charges. But now I'm at a stage in my healing um, where if my mom does anything at all, I have no problem calling the cops, pressing charges, getting a restraining order, if she tries anything at all. Um, I'm not even above suing her, even though I know I won't get any money from her because she's on disability. It's just, <clears throat> at least, I don't know, I feel like I've got my power back. Now, this girl's kind of powerless. Um, she lives with, I think she said her father, in the narcissistic mother. I don't remember what she said what happened, but... The father is letting the narcissistic mother stay in the house. Even though the narcissistic mother is, has some other place to live or might, something happened to her place to live. Um, so it, she's supposed to be there like temporarily or whatever. So this poor girl has to put up with her. And I think it's kind of inconsiderate of the father to allow the woman into her house, but 
I think my father would probably have done the same thing because he loves my mom, even though they're not good together. Um, so the part that I want to talk about is there are so many people out there that don't understand. Um, like when we talk about stuff that happens to like, well, why didn't you just call the cops? Why didn't you just go press charges? People don't understand. And it's not just with narcissists. It's um, when you're being abused by anyone and you're in an abusive relationship or in a family where you're being abused by your parents, even children who are, you know, young children who are being abused by their parents, they know that if they tell anyone, because this is what they the abuser does, they condition the person that they are abusing to know that if the victim decides to go to the police or anything, their abuser is going to give it to them like a million times worse. So we have to choose. Do we want to be ridicul uh, ridiculed and yelled at uh, and put down? Or do we want to face getting the crap beat out of us a million times worse just to try to get out of the situation? And most of the time, you can't get out of that situation, especially when you're younger. And People, people just don't understand. And then even as adults, the narcissist still has a power over us because, like I said, they've been conditioning us for so long that that's all we know. And if we try to cut off contact and do something about it, it gets worse. Now, when you go no contact, it always gets worse before it gets better. And that's what happened in my situation because the abuser wants to retaliate and try to hurt you more and try to suck you back in and they'll say nasty things about you to everyone around you to try to get you to defend yourself because they know they're trying to provoke you. But you just got to keep your cool and keep your calm. And then eventually it just dissipates. And it doesn't get that bad. And people are usually afraid of that storm before the calm. Narcissists are very brutal. I don't know, like I said, with any, any type of abusive relationship, you can't just leave. I don't think there's an abuser out there that is just going to let their victim leave without a fight. When a woman is in an abusive marriage where she is being beaten all the time and everybody's like well just leave him it's not that easy they don't they don't get it we know the abuser more we know what they're capable of we know what they'll do and if you try to leave it's gonna get so much worse and you see all the time women trying to leave and then they end up dead because their abuser somehow finds them it's better to the victim to just live with some of the abuse and try to figure out a way to leave down the road than it is to be scared for the rest of your life wondering when the abuser is going to come back and try to kill you. So this girl, she's 
she's afraid of the backlash that will happen if she tries to press charges on her mother for assault. It's a lot harder because she also lives with her. So when someone says, I can't just leave, and I've seen people say this, well, it's your fault if you stay. It's not. They're just choosing. They have a choice. A little bit of abuse or a lot of abuse. The a lot of abuse will happen if they do something like press charges or call the cops. Anyway, I hope this enlightens some people who don't understand why you can't just leave an abusive relationship, um, especially when you're a child. Now, here's the thing about when you're a child. If you call the cops uh, for abuse and CPS takes you away, now CPS, there's two different things of CPS. Now, one is they, they like taking children away from the family because they like to adopt them out. But then there's also times where they like to do things to keep the family together, but the parents have to work hard towards it. Now, when you're a child that's being abused and you get taken away, the narcissistic parent wants their supply back so they're gonna fight back to get that child back and when the child does come back they're gonna get abused even worse so it's not that easy because someone has said it to me a few years ago when I told them about the abuse that I was going through or that I went through as a child and they said well it's your own fault you didn't call CPS on your parents. What little kid knows to call CPS? Like what little kid um, has the right mind to think, hmm, let me call CPS or the cops on my parents for hitting me. Especially when their parents are brainwashing them and manipulating them into not uh, calling the authorities on the parent by letting them know that they're gonna get it a whole lot worse if they do. <sighs> anyway, if you have anything that you wanna add about this, go ahead and comment. And I hope everyone has a good 4th of July. Take care.